Lewis Tucker is the lead drone builder and operation coordinator for the project. He says that flying a drone into a tornado is very surreal. So it's kind of a scary experience, uh, especially to people who are uh, who have been doing it for the first time. And I just remember last year getting really close to a tornado. Uh, it was called the Carbon Tornado. And I was like, man, like I really want to turn back right now. You know, like this is not something that you usually want to go towards. The Otis Project is gathering temperature, wind speed, humidity, and pressure by flying around and inside twisters. I mean, it's just about, you know, discovery. And I, I remember flying into that Arnett tornado that a lot of people have seen and just like looking down and seeing kind of like the eye of the tornado as it was kind of uncondensating. I mean, it's just something that no one's ever seen before. Researchers want to understand why tornadoes strengthen and weaken. The data will be used in part to help engineers and builders create stronger homes. When we initially looked at the data, as we were doing circles around the tornado, we clearly saw temperature fluctuations that were going up and down depending on where we were relative to the tornado, which is really interesting. We we could see we could see the kind of like this this almost like a sine wave uh, as we were kind of orbiting the tornado, uh, signaling that yes, you know there was more of that warm, moist, sticky air that was uh, helping. Um, get the tornado going. While the data gathering is just beginning, the video the team has shared is creating excitement in the weather community. To even show that to people in the field of meteorology and people who have been studying this their whole lives, because I don't really have that background, just having them see that, they were like, wow, this is, you know, this is incredible. We could even just use the video alone to make new discoveries and to help verify uh, models and whatnot. The project is completely self-funded, but the team is helpful to receive funds from science-based organizations. Bobby Corser, Digital Meteorologist, K2 News.